Yesterday, I was feeling kind of down, kind of sorry for myself. And I got to thinking about all the blessings I have and the wonderful things I enjoy every single day. And I thought back to about two years ago, my husband, who had Alzheimer's, was in the hospital because he had to have knee surgery. And we didn't know it then, but during the surgery, he had suffered a stroke. And so the next day, not only did he have Alzheimer's to contend with, but he had the effects of the stroke. And they were trying to get him up, to get him to walk, and he couldn't make his left leg move. It wouldn't move no matter what. That side of his brain that, that controls the left side had been damaged and nobody knew it. And I'm so sh sure he was frustrated and scared and, and didn't know what was happening to him. Well, one day when I was visiting him, he said some things to me that were really hurtful. It just really hurt my feelings because I would be up there before 7 a.m. every morning to get his breakfast fixed up on his tray for him. He couldn't open the milk. He couldn't open the orange juice. He couldn't put the milk on his cereal. I had to do that, and so I got up and got up there before 7 a.m. every single day. And sometimes I, I had to spoon feed him. He couldn't, he couldn't do that for himself. And then I would gather up his clothes and bring him home to wash them so that I could take him back the next day, and he would have clean clothes for his physical therapy. But that day, when he said some horrible things to me, I gathered up his clothes and I told him, I'm gonna go wash these and I'll be back in the morning. And when I got out in that car, I just laid up against that steering wheel and I cried. I was feeling sorry for me. And he didn't even know what he had done on the way home I saw a van parked on the side of the road and it had this big door open this sliding door open and a ramp extended to the ground and behind the van was a man in a wheelchair and he had his head bowed behind that was a sheriff's deputy's car and the deputy was out there talking to this man. I passed by and saw that and I thought, boy, am I having a bad day, but it could be worse. I could be that guy. So I got my husband's clothes washed and dried and folded. And the next morning, I got up to the hospital before seven o'clock. And when I walked in that room, I just put a big old smile on my face. And I was, good morning. I hope you're well today. And he had a big old smile on his face too. He didn't know what he did. He didn't know that he hurt me. He was so confused. And it just nearly killed me what he said. But there was no way I was gonna tell him what it was. Because he totally didn't even know. We all go through things that hurt us. We all have disappointments. Maybe our neighbors have disappointments worse than ours. 
Maybe it's a child. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a family member. We're all going through things, especially right now. Some people are have lost their jobs. Some people are in danger of being evicted. They can't pay their car payment. It's going to be repossessed. I have Social Security. It's not much, but it's enough to pay my bills and buy my groceries and keep me alive. And I am blessed beyond measure. When you feel down, you feel sorry for yourself, you feel like you can't go on anymore, look around you. See what you have to be thankful for. If it's family, if it's a sweet little dog, or maybe a grumpy old cat like I have, no matter what it is, find one thing that you can be thankful for and dwell on that. Things are not as bad as we think they are. Not not in the bride's large scope of things, it's not. We have our health, we have food, we have shelter, we have friends, we have family, and we have hope. I hope you all have a good evening. I hope your day is good. And I hope God is good to you. Until I see you again, bye-bye.